know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please! There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report! So... You do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here... yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. A small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent Administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity. Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds.
Okay, Gatecrasher. Your turn. Well, before that, hello again, folks. Hello, squaddies. Now, I know I said I was going back to Dota, but in the interest of being 100% above board and honest with you guys, because I like, I prefer, I believe in open communication, I sat down to record some Dota, and I just, I could not get my heart into it. I love Dota. I'm going to keep watching it, but I got to take a break from... I just have to take a, a longer break from casting it until I can maybe get my passion for it, but for that back. I still, again, I still love Dota. So I decided to play this. Now, originally I was going to play uh, Mutant, Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden, which is this with a little bit more of an action RPG vibe to it, because you have, like, you can explore the map and find stuff, but a technical glitch when I was recording that kind of screwed up that idea. So I decided, you know what? I'm playing an I was playing an action RPG slash XCOM mix. Why don't I just play XCOM for the channel? So I decided to. Uh, this is XCOM 2: War of the Chosen. Just starting off a brand new campaign. This is on veteran difficulty, so it's not the highest. It's actually technically the second lowest. But I decided I'm doing this to have fun and to make fun content. Me raging and getting salty as hell about this is not going to make entertaining content for anybody unless you're, you know, that sadistic. Then again, I don't know, my audience just might be. <laughs> Who knows? But, uh, I'm, I'm talking over this because this is all the basic entry-level first mission stuff. There are a couple of things that I did do a little bit different. That I did, one of them is to make, make the job a little easier because War of the Chosen can be a very long game. Not quite as long as the Long War, but still pretty long. So I did double the length of the Avatar project. So so they take twice they take twice as long to get their their end game done. But at the same time, I also weakened myself because there is an option where a grenade in ba in the base game of XCOM 2. The a grenade will do if you throw a, if you throw out a grenade. If the grenade lands on somebody, and it if the grenade says it'll do three damage and it lands on somebody, it's going to do three damage. If it lands, and they're at the extreme end of extreme edge of the explosion radius, it'll still do three damage. I don't like that, so I decided to disable that. There is an option on Game Start to make it so that grenade damage falls off the farther away from the center of the explosion you are. This does help me a little bit because it means I don't have to worry as much about accidentally killing my guys when I start hurling explosives at people, which, fair warning, I'm gonna do because I like explosives. Alright, time to light this up. But it also means that I, while I have to be more, I don't have to be as careful with throwing explosives, I also have to be a little bit more careful because I can't do as much damage right off the bat. Alright, I got a 2 and 3 chance to hit any of these guys, so... Charlie Scott! Light it up! You numbnuts! Well, that'll trigger three overwatches on three enemies. Yeah, yeah, you see us now. Light it up, guys! One down! Two down. 
I didn't get the third overwatch for some strange reason. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, you better run. There's another enemy over there who he's probably going to activate. Alright, Charlie, can you... No, you... I, I mean, a 25% chance shot is not a guaranteed miss. Why did you not fire, Miss Kennedy? Also, I'm gonna just throw this out there. Once I get a better look at her. Confirmed. Okay, I was gonna say, uh, Grace Kennedy is Irish, in this case. Yes. 50, 27, 26, 25. You know what? I was just talking about this, so... Grenade! Let's blow that dumbass up. I probably should have moved, because she's flanked by the officer. Luckily, there's not going to be any faceless just yet. Twenty-six, twenty-six, twenty-five. Going to Overwatch just in case. Leticia Delgado. Twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-six. Again, going to Overwatch. Wait, no. Uh, Forty-nine, forty-one, twenty-six. All right, you know what? This is not going to do full three damage, but it'll destroy their cover with, or at least, no, it won't. Hurt like he Oh, it killed one. It did kill one of them. All right, so everybody's already getting a promotion. Why did you shoot the statue? Why did you shoot the other statue and the building behind it? Apparently. You're aiming at the wrong one, you idiot. Not that I'm complaining, because, I mean, I don't want my people to die. Okay, good. He decided to mark Charlie. Also, I am going to be renaming these my team members to friends of mine, mostly my Twitch friend, uh, my online Twitch friends, and I encourage you to go and look at the, look up their channels once you see their names. And I'm going to try and keep it to roughly their actual nationalities. Take the shot, Grace. Action cam does nothing. Oh, kitty. One of my cats actually ran the other one out of my lap a minute ago. You know what? You don't need that tree. You only took two damage, but now you have no cover. How is that still only a one in or a two and three chance? All right, Mr. Hawkins. Seventy percent. That's a dead officer. All right, Charlie. Scanners are clear. Menus one five. We have a limited window to act before advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. Yeah, we already did that central. We're good. Menus one five. Rendezvous at the extraction point. Where is the extraction? Oh. Status confirmed. Detonating charges. I don't know what that secondary explosion there at the end was, but hey, whatever. Six out of six killed, no wounded, no killed, flawless victory. First squad, first win. Although, frankly, I, I've never actually... F I don't think I've ever even actually gotten anybody <laughs> injured on that. That our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith 
in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. Also, I'm going to try and avoid any thing that seems like overt racism. Don't get me wrong. I am going to fight the elders, but... There's no way the aliens were expecting a fight like that. I'm impressed, Commander. Okay. Alright, so Scott becomes our first heavy. Demolitions experts. The grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Wherever we need it is going to be everywhere. Whenever we need it is going to be any... anytime. Right, so he is our first. Our first squatty is. Or our first promoted squatty gets launch grenade. Delgado. Our ranger. Serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Don't know why the frame rate on that went to hell, but. Alright, so we now have. Our first swords per swordsman, swordswoman. Oh, we have a specialist. Specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield. Can be outfitted for combat or field medic. Mostly going to be medical. And Hawkins. The sniper. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. Also, I love the fact that they're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. That's that's not a pistol. That's a fucking hand cannon. I mean, look at that thing. It is literally as long as his thigh. I should have get one injury. We've got it. five troopers and an officer. Well. Once we get through the rest of the stuff, we're gonna start cutting people up. Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. Nothing is harmless. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Thank you, Doctor. Now, one thing about this is I tend to favor getting, like, not doing I tend to favor ignoring the uh, a lot of the more in required I find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available we'll begin work off to engineering I tend to like upgrading my weapons and armor first okay reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine should fix that stabilization problem you had come on rover it'll work Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. 
He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed at what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Well, hello, Shen. You'd be surprised how big of a difference some of these things can make in combat. Let's get a couple of med kits. I'm not gonna do flashbangs or smoke grenades yet. Once they start introducing, once the enemies start introducing psychic powers, then I'm gonna do that. But. Let's go to view soldiers real quick. No, actually, I'm not going to equip people. Been going on. We've never really had time to consider the possibility, but I have to believe Vala is still out there somewhere. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. Alright. I'll do the... I'll rename people off camera just to save it, save some time. But we'll go ahead and Commander. Good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Commander, we're attempting contact with a local resistance faction known as the Reapers. These people like to keep a very low profile, so it may take some time before we hear back. While we're waiting, it might be worthwhile to scan the area for additional supplies and resources. You never know what we may find out there. Commander, one of our resistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Kenny. All right, get some free rookies out of it. 